Might not be one of ours. Might just be some freak medical thing. How many times in Dad's long and varied career has it actually been a freak medical thing? And not some sign of uh, awful supernatural death? Uh, almost never. Exactly. All right. Let's go talk to the daughter. So what do you think killed him? Maybe the guy just killed himself. You know, maybe there's nothing supernatural going on at all. I'm telling you, I watched it happen. He was murdered by something, Dean. It trapped him in the garage. Like what, a spirit, a poltergeist, what? I don't know what it was. I don't know why I'm having these dreams. I don't know what the hell is happening, Dean. So what, you think Jim Miller killed himself? My dream was just some sort of freakish coincidence? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that there's nothing supernatural about that house. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe, uh, maybe it has nothing to do with the house. I think there's something strange going on here, Dean. Yeah, tell me about it. She wasn't even that into me. No, man, I mean, like, our kind of strange. Like, maybe even a lead. Why do you say that? I met Meg weeks ago, literally on the side of the road, and now I run into her in some random Chicago bar. I mean, the same bar where a waitress was slaughtered by something supernatural? You don't think that's a little weird? I don't know, random coincidence, it happens. Well, yeah, it happens, but not to us. Look, I could be wrong, I'm just saying that there's something about this girl that I can't quite put my finger on. I bet you'd like to. You know, this might not be anything supernatural. It might just be pneumonia. Maybe. Or maybe something opened that window. I don't know, man. Look, Dad sent us down here for a reason. I think we might be barking up the right tree. I'll tell you one thing. What? The guy we just talked to? I bet it'll be a while before he goes home. They say this gun can kill anything. Kill anything like supernatural anything? Like the demon. Yeah, the demon. Ever since I picked up its trail, I've been looking for a way to destroy that thing. Find the gun, we may have it. I don't know why they let you go. I don't really care. We find them, we waste them. Why? What part of vampires don't you understand, Sam? If it's supernatural, we kill it. End of story. That's our job. No, Dean, that is not our job. Our job is hunting evil. And if these things aren't killing people, they're not evil. Of course they're killing people. That's what they do. They're all the same, Sam. They're not human, OK? We have to exterminate every last one of them. No, Dean, I, I don't think so, all right? Not this time. What's there to think about? I just don't know if going to the roadhouse is the smartest idea. Dean, it's another premonition. I know it. This is going to happen, and Ash can tell us where. Yeah, man, but plus, it could have some connection with the demon. My visions always do. That's my point. There's going to be hunters there. I don't know if, if, if going in and announcing that you're some supernatural freak with a uh, demonic connection is the best thing, OK? So I'm a freak now? I've always been a freak. She wouldn't be the first nut job in history to kill in the name of religion. Know what I mean? No, but she's the second in town to murder because an angel told them to. A little bit odd, don't you think? Uh, uh, yes, supernatural, maybe, but angels, I don't think so. Why not? Because there's no such thing, Sam. <laughs> Dean, there's ten times as much lore about angels as there is about anything else we've ever hunted. Hey, you know what? There's a ton of lore on unicorns, too. In fact, I hear that they, they ride on silver moonbeams and they shoot rainbows out of their ass. Wait, there's no such thing as unicorns? I mean, it could, you know, maybe it gives us some kind of supernatural acid and then just feeds on us slow. No, Dean, that doesn't make sense, OK? What if that's why she keeps appearing to me? She's not a spirit. It's like more and more I'm catching flashes of reality. You know, like I'm in here somewhere, and I'm, I'm catatonic, and I'm taking all this stuff in, but I, but I can't snap out of it. Yeah, OK, look, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I was wrong. You're not crazy, but we, we, we need to get out of here fast. Oh, ow! Ed, your sister's abusing staff. That's adopted sister, thank you very much. Ed has been obsessed with the supernatural since we were kids, you know? And then he meets Harry at computer camp and love at first geek. Whoa! What the hell is going on, guys? Hey, what's going on? Every door, every window, I'm guessing every exit out of this house, they're all sealed. Wait, wh why are they sealed? It's a supernatural lockdown, OK? Whatever took Corbett doesn't want us to leave. And it's no death that goes. This is a bad mother, and it wants us scared. Or it just wants us. Uh, guys, Whoa. camera's fritzing again. Whoa, mm. guys, EMF starting to spike. This is a big one. Okay. Yeah, everybody stay close. There's something coming.
Find anything? After three hours, I have found no reason why anything supernatural would be going on here. Well, you know, you'd think a Stanford education and a high school hookup rate of 0.0 .0 would produce better results than that. Hilarious. Sam, you're just looking in the wrong places, pal. And what are the right places, Dean? The motel pamphlet rack. Milan, Ohio, birthplace of Thomas Edison. I'm something of a natural sensitive. I can sense that about you, Candace, that whole sensitive thing. So what did you say you're calling your book? Oh, well, um, well, the working title is Supernatural. Yeah, I've been crossing the country gathering stories like yours, but anyways, you were telling me about your encounter. Yes, well, once I saw the apparition, that's when I started to run. Siren spell ain't got nothing to do with any song. It's most likely some kind of toxin or venom. Something she gets in the Vic's blood. That makes him go all Manchurian candidate. Uh, what do you think? She infects them in during sex? Maybe. Supernatural STD. Well, however it happens, once it's done, the siren's got to watch her back. She gets a dose of her own medicine. It kills her. Like a snake getting iced by its own venom. We know why you're watching. You've got a problem. A ghost problem. A ghost-related problem. Like a, a ghost, it's like a ghost adjacent, pro, it's like a problem that's in the Whatever. ghost. We've come to the right place. The only decent place, really, because the ghost facers know how to solve it. Period. Watch and learn. See, the first step in any supernatural fight, figure out what you're up against. I knew it. You guys are LARPing, aren't you? Excuse me? You're fans. Fans of what? What is LARPing? Like you don't know. Live action role playing. And pretty hardcore, too. Sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you're asking questions like the building's haunted. Like those guys from the books. What are they called? Uh, supernatural. Two guys use fake IDs with rock aliases. Hunt down ghosts, demons, vampires. Ah, yeah. That's the first one, I think. Supernatural by Carver Edlund. Along a lonely California highway, a mysterious woman in white lures men to their deaths. Give me that. We're gonna need all the copies of Supernatural you got. So you published the Supernatural books? Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. These books. You know, they never really got the attention they deserved. All anybody wants to read anymore is that romance crap. You know, Dr. Sexy MD. <laughs> Please. Right. Well, we're hoping that our article can shine a light on an underappreciated series. What's Carver Edlin's real name? Oh, no. I, no. Sorry, I can't well, We do just that. want to talk to him. You know, get the Supernatural story in his own words. He's very private. Like Salinger. Please. Like I said, we are, um, <laughs> big, big fans. Awesome. <laughs> With determination, Dean pushed the doorbell. With forceful, Determination. Ugh. You Chuck Shirley? The Chuck Shirley who wrote the Supernatural books? Maybe. Why? I'm Dean, this is Sam. The Dean and Sam you've been writing about. How you doing? Are you jonesing for another bit of bitch blood or what? Uh, it's weird. I'm telling you the truth. I'm fine. No shakes, no fever. It's like whoever put me on that plane cleaned me right up. Supernatural methadone. Yeah, I guess. Dean. Sam. Dean. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. Well, that's good. Because what can I even say? I'm sorry. I screwed up. Doesn't really do it justice, you know? You need my help? 
That's right. I need you to get a message to Sam and Dean. Okay? Look, Mr. Edlin, yes, I'm a fan, but I really don't appreciate being mocked. I know that Supernatural is just a book, okay? I know the difference between fantasy and reality. Becky, it's all real. I knew it! You're not fooling me, you know that? With this sympathy for the devil crap. I know what you are. What am I? You're the same thing, only bigger. The same brand of cockroach I've been squashing my whole life. An ugly, evil, belly to the ground, supernatural piece of crap. The only difference between them and you is the size of your ego. Supernatural is filmed before a live studio audience. I'm gonna need a bigger mouth. <laughs> hey there, Sam. What's happening? Oh, nothing. Um, just the end of the world. <laughs> we now return to Supernatural. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I am. Really, really very sorry, but <clears throat> we've got some work to do. But we did do work. In depth. <laughs> Becky, what is this? It's awesome! A supernatural convention, the first ever. Welcome to the first annual Supernatural Convention. Uh, at 345 in the Magnolia Room, we have the panel, Frightened Little Boy, The Secret Life of Dean. And at 430, there's the homoerotic subtext of Supernatural. Uh, oh, and of course, the big hunt starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Yeah. Okay, but, but right now, right now I'd like to introduce the man himself, the creator, and the writer of the Supernatural books, the one, the only, Carver Edlin! Do you guys know what I do for a living? Yeah, Chuck, we know. Then could you tell me? Because I don't, all right? I'm not a good writer. I've got no marketable skills. I'm not some hero who can just hit the road and fight monsters, okay? Until the world ends, I gotta live. All right? And the supernatural books are all I've got. What else do you want me to do? No, guys, wait! Hey, Chuck. Good luck with the uh, supernatural books. And screw you very much. Fans of yours? Mm, I'd say no. Yeah, how original. Supernatural bringing you more creepy children. Sigh. Miss Gore wouldn't let us have any fun. You look nothing like real ghosts. Just telling you. But Miss Gore's gone. And now, we can have all kinds of fun. Oh my god, this is supernatural. Makes digging graves seem so easy. It's not though, I'm gonna throw up. No, you're not. You're wrong, you know. Sorry? About supernatural. No offense, but I'm not sure you get what the story's about. Is that so? All right, look, real life, he sells 
stereo equipment. Uh, I fix copiers. Our lives suck. But to be Sam and Dean, to wake up every morning and save the world, to have a brother who, who would die for you, well, who wouldn't want that? Maybe you get a point. You know, you two don't make a bad team yourselves. How do you know each other, anyway? Oh, uh, well, we met online. Supernatural chat room. Oh. Well, it must be nice to get out of your parents' basement and make some friends. <laughs> We're more than friends. We're partners. Oh. Well. <clears throat> Howdy, partners. Howdy. Sam, wait! One more thing! In chapter 33 of Supernatural, Time is on my side, there was that girl, Bella. She was British and a cat burglar. Yeah, I, I know. She stole the colt from you, and then she said she gave it to Lilith, remember? Yeah? Well, you know she lied, right? She never really gave it to Lilith. Wait, what? Didn't you read the book? There was this one scene where Bella gives the colt to a demon named Crowley, Lilith's right-hand man. I think her lover, too. Crowley? Didn't occur to you to tell us this before? Run! God! Real good solid fall. Way to go. Garrett! Jensen! Outstanding! That was just great! Supernatural, scene one, echo, take one, tail slate, marker. <laughs> on here with Jared Pedelecki from TV Supernatural. So, Jared, season six. What? You beat the devil, lost your soul, and got it back again. So tell us, what's next for Sam Winchester? Look, I, I really don't... Oh, and if you could include the question in your answer. Thanks. <laughs> Well, bad news. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to do a little acting. <laughs> what? Supernatural, scene 36, take one. Marker. Action! Balthazar is no hero. But he knows Raphael will never take him back. Supernatural, scene 36, take eight. Marker. Action. Balthazar is no hero, but he knows Raphael will never take him back. Look, I was up all night looking online. There's no sign that anything like the apocalypse happened here. Ever. And as far as I can tell, monsters, ghosts, demons, they're all pretend. So nobody's hunting them? No hunters. Look, maybe that's why our spell didn't work, Dean. You know, maybe here there's no supernatural, no magic. No demons, no hell, no heaven, no, no God? Something like. <laughs> Even better, no angels. Well, this is not how I imagine spending my reunion. Mm -hmm. I was going to show you off. Not that anyone actually knows who you are. Supernatural is not exactly popular, but you're tall and nice, and they'd all think I was happy. Mm -hmm. This is all too much. What's happened to my life? I'm just a kid from Michigan. I didn't want to be a word keeper. It's like a brown bag. 
I am not prepared to factor the supernatural into my world. Okay, here we go. That's it, that's it. Just breathe, take it easy. When we acquire an item as hot as the word of God, it's smart to unload it as fast as possible. And we are in such desperate need of a headliner for tonight's gala. Well, I hope you have three extra tickets to your little eBay party, because profit's with us. Oh, if you're worried about the safety of the profit, rest assured that we have a strict no casting, no cursing, no supernaturally flicking the two of you against the wall just for the fun of it policy. Is that right? How'd you manage that? Well, I am the right hand of a god, after all. Plutus, specifically. Is that even a planet anymore? Abaddon is here, and she wants this thing, so I need to know everything there is to know about it. In the box is the key to every object, scroll, spell ever collected in a thousand years under one roof. It is the supernatural mother lord. Thank you. Thanks. Good to see. So, your grandfather was in all this supernatural stuff too? Yeah, grandparents, mom, dad. Truckload of cousins. The whole family was lousy for it, but we never had a golem. Right, yeah, we, um, we grew up in it, but you didn't? My grandfather's adventures, the initiative, the golem, the war, they were the stories that he told me when I was a kid. Thought it was make-believe. So you've been hunting? Alone. I know. Not a good idea, according to the Supernatural books. You really can't delete those from the internet? Well, not even I could do that. I mean, come on. Where do you even find them? A top secret place I call Amazon. Sorry, out of curiosity. Uh, why do you mention cold spots? I'm sorry, that must sound strange, but... It's been three days since... And the police have found nothing. I'd, ha I'd have to sell my house to afford a private investigator. So when the supernaturalists called... Well, I'm oh, sorry, the uh, supernaturalists. I know to the FBI it's not exactly orthodox. But these men had answers that no one else had, and I... I owe it to Casey to listen. Now, they, they brought up cold spots in relation to... Signs of the paranormal, I suppose. They're coming by today to take a look. And did these supernaturalists give you a name? Uh, Dean? Yeah. Ed and Harry wrote a book. What? Yeah. Uh, the Skinny on Thin Man by America's Foremost Supernaturalists. The hell's a thin man? I don't know. Um, oh, check that out, though. I mean, that does kind of look like whatever was behind Casey Miles, right? Or Garth, if somebody shaved his face off, they blew up. So they meant stalking folks? Uh, according to the lore. According to the idiots. How come none of these Vicks pinged our radar? I'm pretty sure the mysterious deaths can be chalked up to non-supernatural causes. That, and honestly, most of these photos are pretty fake. Even Casey's? Except Casey's. Casey's photo wasn't doctored. Whatever was behind her wasn't really there. Okay, well, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, how can something be both real and fake at the same time? Was this cracked when you found it? Yeah, man. Maybe she dropped it? Uh, 911 call went dead at 11.59. But what time was the photo posted? Around 2 a.m. But the coroner has the death at midnight. How could she have posted the photo from her phone? That, that's impossible. Or supernatural. What? Why would you say that? A couple fellas came by, uh... Asking questions about the girl's death suggested they might be able to help. They uh, gave me a book they wrote uh, about... Um... Thin Man? Yeah. Uh. The lore changes blog to blog. He's not dope. Okay, all right, huh. all right. Right here, right now, cut the crap. Do either of you actually know what Thin Man is? No. We just play Supernaturalist on TV. We have no idea what we're doing. No. <laughs> of course we do. <laughs> Thin man. 
is part man, part tree. Some people believe that he emerged from the nightmare of an autistic boy who's All right, so you have no him. idea. Well, you're looking good for a guy pushing 90. Well, thanks, Sport. There is a spell for damn near everything. I am impressed, though. You did exactly what you should have done. Though I am going to miss those two from my zoo. Your zoo? Oh, gentlemen. You are in the midst of the greatest collection of supernatural rarities and antiquities on the planet. Why couldn't they just do Godspell like good little skanks? Instead, it's this awful, unbelievable horror story. Oh! Like, that stuff really happens. Theater is about life, you know? Truth. Truth. Where is the truth in supernatural? We're here to look into the disappearance. There is no singing in Supernatural. Well, this is Marie's interpretation. <laughs> well, I mean, if there was singing, you know, and that's a big if. If there was singing, it would be classic rock. Not this Andrew Floyd Webber crap. Andrew Lloyd Webber. What? Well, you know, we do sing a cover of Carry On Wayward Son in the second act. Really? Huh. It's, it's a, a classic. classic. This hers? No, that's a prop from Act Two. I've been looking for that, actually. There's no space in Supernatural. Well, not canonically, no, but this is transformative fiction. You mean fan fiction? Call it whatever you like, okay? It's inspired by Carver Edlin's books. Yeah, so this isn't that up. Topas require a, a ton of psychic energy to juice up. Yeah. Well, it's not like the Supernatural books are, are tearing up the New York Times bestseller list. And I seriously doubt this play is even sold out. Hope not. Oh, but you know what? This flower, I know I've seen it in the lore somewhere. There's got to be a connection. All right, you get on that. I'm going to take a shot at Burning Man. Yeah. Okay. All right, listen up, girls. Now. No, you're all here because you love Supernatural. Actually, I was hoping we'd do Wicked. Yeah, it'd have been easier. Uh, I know I have expressed some differences in opinion regarding this particular version of Supernatural, uh, but tonight, it is all about Marie's vision. This is Marie's Supernatural. So I want you to get out there and I want you to stand as close as she wants you to, and I want you to put as much sub into that text as you possibly can. There is no other road, no other way, no day, but today. Did huh? he just quote Ren? Not enough to get us in trouble. Now you get out there and you kick it in the ass. <sighs> All right, bring it in. Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to our production of Supernatural. I'm not gonna lie, it might be a full-on Gallagher show up in this piece. <laughs> um, so those of you in the front rows may want to use the ponchos we've provided for you under your seats. You may, in fact, get wet on this ride. So why this story, huh? Why, uh, Supernatural? Supernatural has everything. Life, death, resurrection, redemption. But above all, family. All set to music you can really tap your toe to. It isn't some meandering piece of genre dreck. It's epic. They use spells to create disease, to destabilize markets. Hell, they even helped the Nazis before they came into power. And they profited from all of it. So, they're like the supernatural DuPonts? Basically. All the spells they used came from a book of unspeakable evil, which they lost nearly 100 years ago. Okay, so they're bad. So what? We faced worse. Sam, read the file. The way the book works is when you use it, there is a negative reaction. I'm talking biblical negative. 
Okay, so here's the thing. Dean is not getting any better. I feel like if we don't get the mark of his arm, it's gonna eat him up. I get it, but what are we gonna do about it? I got a hold of a codex, which is sort of a, a collection of supernatural code-breaking tools, and it should help crack the Book of the Damned. That would be awesome if the book, you know, actually existed. It does. I got the results back on that fiber from the crime scene, and asbestos. Asbestos? Yeah. So our killer's fire retardant. What does that mean? No, not much yet. And Wheeler, the janitor, his alibi checks out. Well, his social security number does not. It belongs to Mamie Garcia, who died in 1988. And we all started at Marshall a few months ago, when the disappearances started. The ones I said were supernatural in the first place. Yes, we know. You keep reminding us. So we need to talk to this Mr. Wheeler again. My mentor in the Man of Letters. He taught me this symbol before he died. World Series, 1944. Go. You're from the future. Tell me, who won? Um, the, uh, the Rangers. The Rangers? He believed it would keep me and the artifact safe on our journey. Who were the Rangers? From supernatural interference. And angelic interference. Angels. They're not Who were the real. Rangers? Look, kid, I don't follow baseball, okay? Yeah, and angels are real. In fact, one of them is my ride off of the ship. Now, the, the warning that you put up to block the magic, it must have blocked him, too. I cleared the one. If there's any more, we gotta clear those two, otherwise I'm stuck here. You really think I'm a hack? I have trudged through your complete oeuvre, published and unpublished. Of the metric ton of books I've read in my lifetime, Supernatural didn't even crack the top ten. Thousand. Respectfully. You didn't like any of it? Mm -mm. Not even Home? No. Or uh, All Hell Breaks Loose? Oh, way too much melodrama. I can't believe you've come back. I, I didn't mean what I said about Supernatural. It's underrated, due for a reboot. And this bar, it's not crappy at all. It's just like the one in Cheers. Everybody knows my name. And the lights are okay, very yeah, forgiving. Please. All the kneeling and stuff. It's always made me deeply, deeply uncomfortable. Just don't use the G word, okay? Just, just call me Chuck. So what you been up to? Oh, I've been super busy. Yeah, traveled, mm -hmm. uh, started a blog. Mostly just pictures of cats. Oh, they're so cute. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, I signed up for Snapchat. And I started a new series of books. Yeah. Revolution. I don't think it's going anywhere. Revolution. Yeah. Supernatural. Maybe titles aren't your thing. You're not wrong. Sam! Sam, hey! Hey! You can pop and puff, but that house is on supernatural lockdown. They can't even hear you. All right, look, an exorcism, it ain't like an angel blade. Yeah, it's not permanent. Exactly. All right, so five years later, JL, he came back and he came for Asa. How so? Asa was seeing this woman, right? She had a kid. Marlene. Yeah, Marlene. Let me paint you a picture of a world without monsters or demons or any of those little buggers that go bump in the night. Of a world where no one has to die because of the supernatural. Of a new world, a better world. Let me paint you a picture of a world without monsters or demons or any of those little buggers that go bump in the night. Of a world where no one has to die because of the supernatural. Of a new world. A better world. I'm listening. Have a seat. Right. Gwen, uh, we're here today because we, uh, we know what you told the police. That you feel like something supernatural is after you. But we've concluded our investigation, and the thing that killed your boyfriend... It was a bear. It's a bear. Now, we found it and put it down, so you're no longer in any kind of danger, okay? It's a... Tear in space and time. Uh, and that means? It's a doorway to another world. Another, what, like Narnia? No. 
Now through there, it's Earth, but but different. It's a it's an alternate reality. So it's a bizarro world. Or, or, or like the place we got zapped to where we were uh, uh, actors on a TV show. Oh, yeah, the supernatural wasn't real. Yeah. And you were Polish. Right. This young lady is Smash. And this is Grab. Oh, uh, yeah. Smash and Grab? Really? Not our real names. No kidding. Smash can crack any safe built by man. And Grab's a demon, expert in bypassing supernatural security. Wait, safe cracking? What is this, a heist? Hold up, is this a heist? His name is Luther Schweik. Lives off grid, paranoid, agoraphobic. You might call him a hoarder. Has a rabid appetite for collecting rare supernatural objects, including something of mine. All right, so what are we talking? Your favorite My Little Pony? Accentuate to positive evening. Would you read me? A book on the supernatural. Really? <laughs> so you're into the supernatural? I am. I should sit down. <laughs> hey. Hey. Excuse me. Sure. We told you every freaking time, but did you ever listen to Scoob and me? No! We're doomed. All right, knock it off. Come on. Scooby Gang does not have nervous breakdowns. Now, you may not have tangled with the supernatural, but you fought monsters. Real freaking psychos. We stopped Zeke and Zab. Shaggy figured out that the shark's old iron face road were really just torpedoes disguised to look like sharks. And what about the Black Knight? Huh? Mamba Wamba? The Space Kook? I knew it! You love this show, too. Mm. Right. But the joke is on him, because the money's worthless. It's all Confederate dollars. Oh. Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was right. I told you, you big lug. There's no such thing as the supernatural. Huh? Looks like you were right, and now we know. Hey, my arm's feeling better. Don't think it was really broken after all. I said I'd protect her and you know. Stop, Jackie. This isn't your fault. What happened to her? I don't know. Doesn't look supernatural. It looks like some son of a bitch beat on her until who would do something like this? What are these? My maquettes. You make them? I run the most successful Etsy site for unofficial supernatural merchandise in the country. Probably the world. Wow. So you're still, um... Still what? Uh, obsessed with my work. You mean my work? Look, what you were writing, it was real. Like, really real. You sort of channeled Sam and Dean's lives because you're a prophet. I... yeah. So, after some pretty intensive counseling, I realized I wasn't in love with the real Sam Winchester. I loved his character. So instead of reading your stories, I kept writing my own. Your own supernatural? Where the guys didn't have to hunt monsters all the time. You could just sit around and do laundry and talk, you know? I mean, that's what people like the most anyway. Well, I mean, people like monsters. Meh. This is just an ending. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I know where I'm going. But, but it's so dark. But great, right? I can see it now. Supernatural, the end. And the cover is just a gravestone. It says Winchester. Fans are going to love it. Well? Gas and water convert down here, maybe. It's too bad we can't just call a plumber. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, Mario Brothers. Yeah, could you come to the most secretive, secure, supernatural hideout in the world? Great, thanks. Go, Luigi. What is this? This is the bunker grid control center thing, that thingy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> 